With the fact that long COVID affects most women's monthly cycles and suspicion that persistent virus could be hanging out in immune privileged sites like men's testicles, it seems only natural to ask the question about what the effect of long COVID might be on fertility. That's before we even consider the impact the condition can have on libido and erectile function. It's not for nothing that the gag of renaming the condition Schlong COVID has been doing the rounds. Anyway, to address this spunky subject, sorry, uh, I spoke to v Dr. Vicky Mayle, lecturer in reproductive immunology at Imperial College London. What exactly do we know about long COVID and fertility? Is there anything we know about long COVID and fertility at the moment, or anything we know about COVID infection and fertility, or anything that's sort of related to the interaction of the virus and, you know, ability to... Yeah, so we know a bit about infection and fertility, actually, acute infection. Yeah. Um, so there's been a study by um, someone called Amelia Westlink, and what she was doing was she was tracking more than 2,000 couples who were trying to conceive through intercourse over the course of uh, 10 months. And every month, effectively, she looked at the per month chance that that would be the month that you fall pregnant. And um, for COVID vaccination, it makes no difference to fertility, which is completely what we expect because COVID yeah. vaccination makes no difference to fertility. What was really interesting, though, was that COVID infection, it made no difference to female fertility, but uh, it but male, does okay. a two month reduction in male fertility. And this completely ties in with what we already know about what COVID infection does to sperm, because it makes uh, it lowers sperm count, it makes the sperm of a lower quality. Um, and we do know that that recovers, but what was really interesting was to see this actually as a decline in male fertility. So that's acute COVID. It would be really interesting to know if, you know, if long COVID means that you still have that persisting. I don't know about that. And then the other thing that we know about long COVID and potentially fertility, which is not published, but I'll tell you who you'd need to talk to, is... Um, there's a study called the Arizona Cohort Study, which you might have already run into. And the person who's particularly looking at this bit is, Le is called Leslie McFarland. Um, and one of the things she's looked at is how people's periods change after they get COVID. And in her study, she finds that about 15% of people notice to change their periods after they have COVID. That's probably an upper limit because they haven't got the controls in that study that tell you what percentage of those people might have experienced that anyway. if they hadn't had COVID, because that is something that does happen. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so 15%, let's say it's an upper limit. In a seminar that she gave, she said that they're following this cohort for those people who have long COVID, and it seems that these changes persist more in those participants of theirs who have long COVID. That's not published. So if you wanted mm. to have like the official story on that, you would need um, speak to speak to her. Of course, periods can change without it doing anything to your fertility. And, I, yeah. and they're not and they're not actually looking at fertility as far as I know. So that doesn't yeah. necessarily tell us anything about fertility. But yeah. it, it does tell us that one thing that some percentage of people with long COVID might expect to experience is a, is a change to their menstrual cycle that doesn't quickly yeah. light itself. A huge thank you to Dr. Vicky Mail for her time and knowledge. But since I had this conversation with her, I became aware of another recently published paper. So let's have a quick look. Uh, so in this paper, Gauche et al. looked at the semen of 27 men, 17 of which had recently recovered from a COVID infection. Importantly, uh, these men weren't specifically suffering from uh, long COVID. They were just shortly after an acute infection. The paper doesn't state how long after this acute infection uh, these 17 chaps were, so we're just going to have to assume it's in the month or two after, I think. Anyway, what did they discover? Uh, well, the group had just had COVID, had significantly reduced sperm counts and motility, and fewer normally shaped sperm than the control group. In addition, specific fertility-related proteins were reduced by up to 50% in the recovered group. Obviously, much more research is required here, but this does look like it could be another wretched string to the COVID bow. Anyway, this film might have been short and sweet compared to some of my uh, more epic recent efforts, but I thought it was still worth sharing. Look after yourselves. Until next time.